When I think back to my time in the state legislature, one of the things that I'm really proud of is the constituent service that I was able to do, that I was able to, you know, help my staff understand what constituent service was and my interns, how they were able to learn true constituent service. So I think the constituents were benefiting and the staff was and the interns who were students here at the university. And I think that was something good they had to take away. Naomi Jacobson is such a passionate advocate and I have admired her for so many years, whether it was during her time as a state rep and the work she did to create positive change like the marriage equality bill or her work now that she's retired as a member of the board of trustees for the University of Illinois and for the Y. And I'm personally, I'm just so glad that her voice is in rooms where those really important decisions are being made. Well, it's not only the time that I spent on staff here at the Y and volunteer now, but the way I uh, participated just in events coming to things at the Y um, with my family, with my children. Uh, I think the way that it really helped me was to listen to other people. You know, whether it was a program we attended or even uh, some kind of a fun event that you know, my children were able to see what goes on at the university besides in the labs. Um, one time, I really remember so much, um, there was an event here and Senator, then Senator Paul Simon was here and the discussion somehow or other was around the death penalty. And this was before I was in the state legislature, but somebody asked me how I felt about the death penalty. And I said, oh, I'm absolutely opposed to it. Well, then when I was running for the state, as state representative, it was staff at the state house that really challenged me on that. And I was so glad that I learned to be able to stand up for something as important as opposing the death penalty. And I learned that right here in the YMCA at the University of Illinois.